Hello Aquarius, this is your December 2018 reading. Can't really use that yet because I haven't called your name totally, you know, on the camera. But this is for Aquarius, December 2018. Remember this will not resonate with all Aquarians, so keep that in mind. But Aquarius, starting December or for December 2018, can I get a full Celtic Cross comprehensive reading a general reading for the masses of Aquarius, December 2018. I bet you're glad Mars is finally out of your sign. I know I'm glad it's out of your sign. It causes like arguments and strife. It is a good energy card for working and passionate love. But when it hits the argument sector, it gets it can get bad. So I'm glad that finally moved out of your sign after a very long period and you can get a little bit of a breather relaxation let's see what's happening incoming energy the lovers the beginning energy what you're feeling is maybe a love situation that didn't work out some type of partnership could be family doesn't have to be a lover but it's in reverse and you may be feeling something went sour in your life in the love, love department. Subject at hand of what's going on. Starting December, the Three of Cups of Celebrations going out. Happiness, dinner, family dinners, all kind of things like that. It's a great card upright. What's crossing that? Princess of Wands. Now it could be anybody taking on this energy. It's like a fire type energy. Or it could be literally a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be also messages of passionate messages. Forceful messages coming towards you. But like I said, it could be a fire sign. And maybe they're, they may damper the celebration a little bit, but I don't see you letting them get in the way too much, but you may be at a crossroads with them, this Princess of Wands. Maybe this is the lover situation that was in reverse earlier as the beginning energy. I need to know more, and so do you. The goal, I had this for uh, Sagittarius also. But this is the Nine of Pentacles. It's about gain and getting what you want in life and things coming in. Your goal is gain. You just want financially to be st stable, and there's nothing wrong with that. Foundation. You may think things are going a little slow with the Princess of Disc in reverse. This could be just like I said. Things feel like they're going a little bit slow. Communications feel like they're going slow. But also that yeah, you could be dealing with another person also. Not only the Princess of Wands, but the Princess of Discs. And this could be an Earth sign. This could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They're in reverse. So if it is a person, they're not happy right now and they're not feeling very secure in their lives with you or just in the situation around them. In the past, there's three of swords, so there might have been more than one person. Could have been an argument with more than one person. It's past heartbreak. It is in reverse. But I need more cards, and I will clarify these in just a little bit. But I want to find out what's going on in the near future. We know in the past that you're a little upset. I need room for my clarifying cards. That's why I'm pushing this over. In the near future, you're thinking things are still going a little bit slow and amok, possibly. But I, like I said, I need more cards. There's no way I could tell you, or I could intuition, but I'd be here all day. I um, want to find out what exactly is occurring. These other cards right here are what is coming towards you in the uh, distant future. But I want to know what's going on at hand. You clarify this first. Abundance, Three of Cups, Celebrations. Why are you there with the Princess of Wands crossing you, Aquarius? Why is that there? Why is that there for Aquarius, December 2018? <clears throat>
no new love offer with this person. You're enjoying yourself. And maybe they are too. But it's like, I'm feeling like it's old hard feelings. Like no one's willing to make a positive step forward towards each other. Can I get another card? Which This is the subject at hand. Because of possible deceptions and they feel like you're lying or you're feeling like they're lying and things aren't clearly seen. So I'm thinking it's left over, like I said, from Mars and the Venus retrograde caused a lot of hurt feelings. Time to move forward though, you know. Nine of Pentacles, that is your goal, gain in life. Getting your stability, nothing wrong with that. Why is that there though? Can I get some more information? Because you feel like things weren't moving forward. This is the why cards. You feel like uh, you weren't moving on from troubled waters, so now you're going for gain. It's like things were just too troubling. Yeah, and you weren't getting the offers you were wanting. So now you're going to go for a different type of gain. And the why, like I said, is because things that weren't moving the way you wanted them to and you weren't getting the offers you were, you were looking for. So it looks like you're going for something else. Princess of Dis as the foundation in reverse. This is not a happy card in reverse. It's the foundation. Something they say was causing a lot of this. The underneath. And again, the Three of Swords in reverse. It could be, like I said, I got this twice now. This could be someone's terribly heartbroken. They may have felt that there was somebody else. Just because there's a three of swords and someone's feeling that there is a three of swords doesn't mean the person was actually doing it. Sometimes it's a feeling. They got a gut feeling and they're unhappy. They're finding out a deception. And it may be feeling like you're getting giving too much energy to the prince, princess of wands or vice versa. The princess of wands may be feeling that towards you. Yes. Something comes out of behaviors that should not have happened. For quite a few of you, not all of you, there was a third party or a talk of a third party that someone feels that they found out about something. Whether it's the Prince of Disc is involved, I, I do believe, I know the Princess of Disc is involved, but also it could have to do with that Princess of Wands. This could be male or female, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Just putting that out there, okay, Aquarius? Three of Swords in the past. Why are you there? Three of Swords in the past. Why are you there, Aquarius? Yeah, trying to come at anxiety in the past over a heartbroken situation. That's what you, the past was like. Just try to pull yourself out of that negativity that you were feeling or people around you are feeling. Can I get another card for the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords in reverse for Aquarius? Queen of Discs, again, it could have to do with the Earth element, someone taking on an energy. It could be, like I said, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. In the near future, you will be dealing, very near future, dealing with the Knight of Disc in reverse. Why are you in reverse, Knight of Disc? This is sometimes just a slow moving energy, but it could be a person. Someone is out of control or feeling like someone's over controlling with the Knight of Disc. The Knight of Disc is feeling that someone is very controlling. Or you may be feeling the Knight of Disc is, in, in, is over controlling because that is the Emperor in reverse. And that is exactly what the Emperor is in reverse over controlling. Knight of Disc, again, is an earth element or someone taking on that energy. It also could be messages that are not very good, but. I'm not going to, unless you want me to say what the earth elements are again, prior it is a Capricorn Taurus Virgo or someone taking on that energy. Oh, someone went for options that weren't very good. The decision making is not very good, but the seven of cups in the upright is also considered a debauchery card where someone may have committed that or done that. Someone not making very good choices and someone got out of control and was very controlling and very abrupt. Whether you're doing this or someone's doing this to you. 
Now we're going to turn these over. This is a possible future outcome or the advice card. It is the devil and upright. This is about chained situations, being stuck and being on chain to whatever is going on around you. So sometimes it's considered obsession where they feel like they can't get something out of their head and they're constantly thinking on it. Sometimes it's addictions or addicted to something, whether food, alcohol, substance abuse sometimes, sexual addiction sometimes. But let's find out more. This could be the possible future outcome. You're feeling chained to a certain situation. It could be that you're chained, you know, chained to a person, too, for some of you. But the devil in the upright, why are you there? Why are you there for Aquarius? Devil card, why are you there? Some serious stuff. Manipulative behavior. Now, if it's advice of the, uh, of the universe is saying you're, you're staying uh, too stuck over a manipulative situation and you need to pull yourself out of it because it could be, it could become your outcome if you're not careful. Remember, you can change your path. You have control of your life. You ever heard um, the quote, you know, choose your own path? You got a fork in the road. What direction do you want to take? This is what the cards are saying. They're here to help you, not to hinder you. So they're saying, whatever situation happened in the past, you need to become unchained from it mentally and uh, do away with the uh, manipulative behavior that surrounds this. Like I said, whether you're doing it or somebody else is doing it to you. And I get another card for the double card, the magician. In reverse. Queen of Cups. This is someone who's feeling very over emotional. Their emotions are out of control. They don't know how to control it. They're very upset and they're crying. So this person is very upset over this whole situation. Their why. Or they could be the ones doing this. Like I said, it goes back and forth. The Queen of Cups can be a water sign or someone taking that energy. It could be a uh, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now remember, change the situation if you don't like it, or go with it if you want. What is coming towards you? Water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are in reverse. It also could be a message. But like I said, it's in reverse. It could be someone coming at you with an emotional situation. Can I get another card for the Prince of Cups? Remember, these cards could be male or female. We're doing a reading for the masses. Yeah, they're not really happy right now with coming towards you. They're emotional. Ace of Wands is in reverse. They're saying, I'm cutting you off, possibly. Or if they're emotional because possibly you cut them off. Can I get another card? Prince of Cups again. He has a water type energy coming towards you that's not happy. And they're a little emotional. It does not have to be a water sign. It could be just someone, like I said, is feeling really emotional right now. And they feel like maybe they've been done wrong. You dealt them wrong. Or you may be feeling they dealt you wrong. Like I said, it goes back and forth. Your hopes and fears is the Queen of Wands. You're hoping possibly for the Queen of Wands. The person's in the upright. Maybe you're hoping for an upright person or someone with a lot of passion and, and fire in them. The Queen of Wands could be a fire sign. It could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be your hopes or fears. I need another card to find out. Queen of Wands, why are you there? For Aquarius, what's going on? Trying to come at a disappointment, maybe. Maybe you have disappointment with this Queen of Wands. Could be a fear that you feel left out somehow. Not necessarily left out, but just disappointed. You're seeing just the negatives with this Queen of Wands. Can I get another card for the Queen of Wands and the Five of Cups? Prince of Swords in reverse is to be you also taking on this energy because it is like an air type element. 
Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, they're in reverse. So your hope could be that you're maybe trying to come out of disappointment because you disappointment, you have disappointment with the Queen of Wands, or you're fearing that you may not be able to get out of disappointment with this Queen of Wands. I have no idea what that is. You could possibly put it in the comments if I have them open. Final, final outcome. Remember this energy is, I feel like a lot of this energy is leaving you, but there, you're still feeling the after effects, the aftershocks of what Mars caused. So I believe you can clean this up if you want to. You're going to avoid a tower moment. Congratulations. I know it doesn't. When, when a reader has a card, cards like this, oftentimes they won't put them out because they want likes and subscribes. But I believe in putting the truth out. As you see, I put them before you, these cards. But the tower, you will avoid a tower situation. And I do believe that's because Mars left your um, sign. If it was still in there, it probably the tower card would probably be in the upright. But it is in reverse. You're coming out of a crumbled situation, possibly. Why? Why is a tower? What tower did you avoid crumbling? What, what situation, negative situation, does Aquarius avoid? You avoid a tower situation and get your happiness in something. You went, woo, dodged a bullet. Dodged a bullet. And I can't even put that in my my uh, thumbnail because YouTube does not approve of those type of, you know, titles. But you do dodge something that's very negative and you're very happy about it. Can I get another card? With the Queen of Wands. You dodge a, a tower moment with the Queen of Wands, and you're really happy about it. The Queen of Wands, like I said, is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone taking on energy. They are in the upright. But you got a lot of unhappiness around you with people unhappy, and someone's obsessed and manipulative and feeling emotional, and there's emotions going all over the place, and people are unhappy over deceptions. Thank goodness Mars is gone, like I said. And you are walking away from something. You're walking away from negativity. You're, you're walking away from something also that still leaves you a little sorrowful. But the walking away may be positive for the time being. I do not see a death card, so I can't say something is finally, finally over in your life. Um, I do not see any hierophants in reverse, so I don't see a divorce per se. So I can't say that there. But I do see... Some deceptions, things coming out uh, that were negative and underhanded possibly because we had the Magician card in reverse. We had passed, like I said, I believe a few, few have experienced someone screwing around on you or you're screwing around on them, basically. I know it's a terrible thing to say, but it's the truth. That's what the cards are showing me. And there's more than just one person involved here. I don't want to go through them all again. You have fire, earth water. You got someone coming towards you that's still going to feel the leftover effects of Mars and let you know what they think and they're emotional and they're caught up. But your hopes or fears are towards this Queen of Wands. Maybe you're trying to come out of feeling uh, disappointed and sorrowful. Because I do believe that you are the Prince of Swords turned around. You yourself are feeling very upset over negative situations that didn't work out but in the outcome you avoid a tower crumbling situation things going boom are not going to happen they're not going to explode on you you're going to come out of that you're going to something's going to almost get you but it doesn't and you're really happy about it and it involves the queen of wands and you end up walking away from something could be all this um whatever happened here walking away but you're thinking about it but you're you know what happened and maybe a little sorrowful walking away but you're walking away from the situation or someone else is walking away from the situation but like i said you avoid a nasty tower situation all together i know i say situation a lot but this is what's going on a weird situation <laughs> but this is your reading and I know, like I said, a lot of readers wouldn't put this out there, but I'm going to put it out there because it's the truth. 
but I'm glad you avoid whatever that situation is again, and Mars has moved on. I'll talk to you later, Aquarius. Hopefully, things get better as December moves on, and I will be giving you, hopefully, another reading in the, before the middle of December. Talk to you later. Bye.